Today, I'm gonna to take you into a deep dive into a very successful design services firm based out of the UK. And we're gonna look at their unique model when it comes to working with clients. And this is our latest video on no code success stories. So we're gonna go through Hatchley, which is the firm that we're going to talk about. Look at how they built their online presence using no code tools. Look at their platform, how it's set up and their unique model. We'll also look into the revenue numbers and some other bits and pieces too. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that. Now, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And then also at the end of the video, go to the description and take a look at some of the links that we have for you, including our free guide to no code tools. Now, Will, who is the founder of Hatchley, had years of experience in industrial and digital design. And after years of freelancing, he saw that there was a gap in the UK market where he wanted to take a fresh design approach from the traditional avenues. And after interacting with some fellow founders, Hatchley came about. Now, before we look at the approach that Hatchley takes when working with clients and their model, we're gonna talk about which tools that they use. And the first thing to note is that I really like their website design and they build this using Webflow. We talk a lot about Webflow on this platform and know that we have a full tutorial on how to use Webflow. So just click in the description for that link. But this is a highly customizable tool, which is easy to use because you don't need to know any code. So there's lots of drags and drop features. You can use templates, but at the same time, it's highly customizable. So you can make your website look exactly how you want to make it. And like I said before, we are really impressed with Hatchley's website. And the three other tools that they use as well are Zapier, ClickUp, and Notion. And they use these tools in order to streamline project management and also the documentation process. And when you're creating the revenue numbers that Hatchley are, these no-code tools are very low cost. So Webflow for them is around 15 pounds per month, which is roughly $20 a month. Now the other main expenses when forming the company were the initial salaries. But like we say, everything else is more or less low cost. Now let's talk about their model before talking about how they interact with their clients. So it's quite interesting because what Hatchley are looking at doing is taking on long-term work and working with clients over a quarter, six months, a year or more. And as we can see on the website, they have simple pricing for everyone. And as we scroll down, you can see that people can pay quarterly, biannually, or annually. And what they're, they have three plans here. They have the standard, standard plus, and pro. And there are small differences between these plans, but we're just gonna look at the standard plan to get an idea about how they work. So we can see here how much it costs per month. And you can do the calculation if you need that in US dollars. In fact, I'll put it on your screen now. And this includes unlimited requests and revisions, a dedicated designer, dedicated account manager, dedicated creative director, project managed dash dashboard, quality assured designs, but at this tape is template based work only. Whereas the standard plus and the pro have template and concept based work. It's a design subscription model. They have productized a service. So you can think about how this is different from how most designers work. If you work in freelance, you get the task, you work with them. Maybe you get ongoing work with that same client, but you're not in this contract with them over the long term. Whereas Hatchley enters into these contracts with their clients, meaning that they're going to have this relationship built up with them. They know they're going to get on ongoing work, but it also suits the client because instead of hiring in-house designers or hiring freelancers who come and go, what they're doing is working with this one company in order to build up that relationship and to know that they're gonna have their design needs met. And the platform works like this. It's an on-demand graphic design like we talked about and submit your creative design requests and receive it back within 24 to 72 hours. So you can see as somebody who needs design work, ongoing design work, this is gonna be a big benefit for them. They're not hiring in-house. Instead, they're using this platform and using Hatchley in order to get the design work done. We can see here what it looks like. So once you log into Hatchley as the client, then you can create requests to the team. You can upload, share, and organize all your brand assets. And it says here, have all your projects managed 
in one place. So you can see this business model is a little bit different to most design firms and it's benefiting both Hatchley and also the clients that they work with. Now, in terms of revenue, we got in touch with Hatchley recently and that their revenue is currently at 250,000 pounds per year, which is roughly between 315 dollars and $320,000 per year. So this shows that they have clients that they're working with and we don't know about their expenses, but obviously taking on people full time will add to those. We can see here how this model works and how much that they are earning through it. Now, in terms of how they acquire customers, we reached out to Hatchley and they told us that they take a more personal approach. And instead of just a broad outreach, Will reaches out directly to organizations where he feels Hatchley is going to benefit them. So this is something that we might see more of moving forward, these design subscription models. And we're seeing this across all industries where subscriptions are becoming a big thing. And whichever industry you're in, you can start considering if a subscription model might work for you as well. So definitely check out Hatchley, take a look around the website, get inspired from what they have created, and then stick around the channel so that you can watch more of these no-code success stories and also some more tutorials about no-code tools in general. And if you are wanting to build something with no-code tools, then check out our premium courses. There'll be a link in the description so you can learn more about that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.